right guys day seven my hair is outgrowing my braids now but we are waking up at horse thief campsite about 10 minutes 15 minutes down the road from Canyonlands. that will be our next stop as far as parks go it'll probably be a quick park for us because none of the trails are dog friendly so if there are any pull-offs we'll let the dogs out and catch some views but we'll probably just be taking the scenic route through this one but um see you there right here we are at canyonlands national park just stopped in the visitor center to get our stamps we're gonna head to this overlook right across the street <laughs> What is the order of our trip today in Canyonlands? So first we're gonna hit Mesa Arch. Because it's early and we don't want it to be super Yeah, busy. even at the visitor center, they were like, go ahead and do it first before a crowd gets there. So we're gonna do that first. And then I think we're gonna go hit Buck Canyon Overlook, White Rim Overlook, Grand View Point Overlook, <laughs> lots of overlooks. And then we're gonna head like back up and hit Green River Overlook. And then we're gonna go hike up Hebel Dome. And she said, what, how did she describe what that was? Like it's, you'll never see this yeah, it's, anywhere it's the, else. Yeah, it's the best looking view, or you won't see anything like it in the Southwest or the North, something like that. Something like that, yeah. So we definitely wanna see that. Very, it seems like it's, it. this park doesn't have like as many things to do, but I still think it's gonna be so I'm excited. I think it's kind of like a, I don't know, it's kind of like a, like a driving park. It's kind of, it's kind of chill. Like you don't come here to, to bust your ass. Yeah. You know, I don't think there's that many like super long strenuous trails. I think the highest level they had was like moderate. Um, where in contrast at arches, like the most popular view is a very intense hike. I feel like a lot of their hikes are just difficult. Yeah. I'm like, so. where are these? So we're looking forward to a chill day. I'm sure the dogs are too. Yeah, it's overcast. It's kind of chilly, which is nice. Oh, and we got lucky at that um, at the viewpoint across from the visit uh, from the visitor center because they said a lot of times it can get obscured. The view can get obscured with like dust. Yeah, there's like mountains in the background, and on some days you can't even see them. Today we could see them very well, so it's a good day even though it's overcast. Peace. All right. On the trail to Mesa Arch. It's windy, but it feels great out. And we've got this one behind us over here. So on the site, it says that this is a easy hike. Should only take about 30 minutes going in and out. I think so far that's true. The trail is well maintained. It's not a it's not a wilderness trail or anything. It's just kind of soft sand all the way up. You get these cool dead looking trees over here. Noise. Not everybody's gonna be like right there. Piled up. Yeah. A lot of like the famous overlooks, it seems like you just get there and you have to wait and like, not have a picture with other people in it. Yeah. I don't like other people. Mesa Orange actually acted more like a gathering point for us than a photo op because it turned out that almost all the people we met at this spot were going on the same path of parks that we were. So we formed okay. a tribe. Hey kids, Ranger Kevil here again at Canyonlands National Park. So far, I've met some really friendly people and they serve as a reminder to always take it easy, man. Breathe it in, man. All right, so we've made three stops so far. I guess two. Yeah, two tech, I guess. Mesa Arch is really cool. 
and we all know that. But one thing that I'm really appreciating, really appreciating about this park, um, is how easy it is to drive around and how flat the roads are. Because I feel like for the past four days, I've been driving on some sort of edge of a cliff, white knuckling it. So it's really, it's really nice to be able to just be able to sit back and enjoy the canyon view without worrying about <laughs> sliding off with uh, the whole crew in the back of the car to our doom. But um, yeah, it's really nice and just peaceful to get around. Everybody here has been really nice. And um, I think this is a highly underrated park, especially as it comes to the big parks in Colorado and Utah. Sure. Then, I, like, I like it more than Arches. I like this more than Arches as well. I like this as well. Lots of places to get out and just kind of find space for yourself. Yeah. Gearing up for our first long hike of this one. Upheaval Dome, we're probably gonna just hit the first viewpoint because we don't want to leave the dogs alone for too long. Bitches. Out the stairs up to this first viewpoint. I'm sure it'll be worth it. And your boy's getting back in shape. Where's the girl at? There she is. There she is. She's working hard. All right, so obviously Canyonlands has less to do than some of your big major parks. There is the peekaboo hike that you can do that is a 10 mile plus hike. But other than that, there's not a whole lot of options here. There's a few things that you're gonna stop in and pop and see, but this was still one of my favorite stops on the trip because of the people. Now, since we were visiting all the Utah parks, we ran into a large group of people who were actually doing the same thing. One of my favorite, a little lady by herself named Anne Marie. She was a great time and we basically stuck together since we met each other at the uh, visitor sign. But Canyonlands has a lot to offer and don't leave it off your list. Unremarkable. 